As you work more with Mobex, you will soon notice a problem. As your application grows, you're gonna want to nest your stores one into another. You're gonna start thinking about your stores not as much as stores of value, where, but more as like models that represent specific parts of your application. Let's say a user model, a to-do model. And that's where life with Mobex gets really complicated because it wasn't really meant for that. It's basically a huge pain in the ass to make sure everything stays in sync, all of your models are always updated, and don't even get me started on transactions and trying to make sure that when you update this to-do and the count in your user model, both update at the same time and don't render as separate different actions on your UI. And that's where Mobex State Tree comes in. It was designed to let you build nested stores. Each new node in your tree can represent an entire subtree of your application. So your state can follow the same sort of relational mapping between models as you're used to from things like Redux or your database or all sorts of different places. It's a very common data model. One of the nice benefits is that, first of all, it was designed for specifically that. Second of all, it still works with Mobex React. It has a lot of very similar principles to Mobex itself. And it combines the best parts of both mutable and immutable data. From mutable data, you get reactivity, everything being nicely contained in the same file, and generally easy ways to update your state without having to go through too much trouble. And from immutability, you get transactions, time travel debugging, snapshots of your state, and all of those really amazing things. It's probably best if I just show you how it works. Let's take a look at building our YouTube player with a Mobex State Tree. Mobex and Mobex State Tree are pretty similar libraries in their concept, it's just that the syntax is somewhat different. Let me show you. In our Mobex example, we had a store that had everything contained inside. A couple of observable values, then we have a computed value, which is our video URL, and we have a couple of actions that let us control what's going on. In the Mobex State Tree app, we're still using Mobex React to connect Mobex State Tree to our React components, but now we're using something called a player model, which is essentially our store, 